Hello guys, welcome back to Target Developers. My name is Shivam Sahu. I am a front-end engineer. If you want Angular support or freelance work or project work or online tushins, then contact me on WhatsApp number is 975-224-5608. In this video, we will learn in Angular 17, what is standalone component? Why we need standalone component? How to create standalone component? What is bootstrap application function in Angular 17? How to bootstrap standalone component in Angular 17? What is standalone component? A standalone component is a type of component which is not part of any Angular module. In left side here you can see we have made folder named as pages under app. Inside the pages folder we will create standalone component. So we will use angular commanding gc component name dash dash standalone. We have created successfully. You can see standalone property is true. It indicates we have created standalone component. Benefits of using standalone component that we can use directly anywhere without requiring declaration within an ing module. Here I will show how we can nest one standalone component to another standalone component. We have created two standalone components named as standalone and standalone2. First step is open standalone ts file and copy the selector tag, then go to standalone2 HTML file paste that selector tag. Second step is open standalone ts file and copy the class name. Now open standalone 2ts file, paste that class name and imports array. Import the standalone component above. Let's bootstrap our root standalone component. In main.ts file, we can see that bootstrap application function is used for bootstrapping standalone component. Here we can see we have to pass two parameters inside bootstrap application function. First parameter is root standalone component, which is app component, and second parameter is configuration file, which is app config file. What is app config.ts file? App config.ts file is where you will set up your external dependencies, like the Angular router, by calling provide router routes in the providers array. 